All right, we are back. I don't know if you got last week's episode, but I ended up hiking into this lake and just walking the bank and eventually I ended up finding a really old beach. The beach didn't make a lot of sense because it was just kind of right at the bottom of a rock slide. And if you can see, I'm gonna go back to the same spot, but look at this. There's actually like a old cart path cut right through here and i think what the deal is is that see this this is real low right now but i think what this is the original level of the lake or close to it and back in the early 1900s they made this into a reservoir and i think what they were doing is they would take the rock from here to dam it off because it was you know back in those days a lot of times they just pile up dirt and rock in order to make their their dam so as I was walking uh, last week when I was here, I found a bunch of iron and it just didn't make sense because it's like, who would want to even be here? But I think that's the only thing that makes sense. So, you know, maybe you should be looking for the rock slides at some of your uh, lake reservoirs because that's probably where they got the rock from, which is, means that's where they probably spent most of their time. I hate to kind of even give this tip but anyways, we're all here to learn from each other and I've learned lots from other channels. So, hey, there's a little tip. Anyways, you can see I got my trusty gunner with me to watch my back. It's been a lot of bear activity this year. And in fact, there's a warning that there's a dead horse over there and there's a lot of bears over by that horse and uh, they're trying to remove it. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get um, I might do a little bit on the land, but my goal today is to do quite a bit out in the water before it gets too cold. Yeah, let's see what we can get, guys. So I'm getting a lot of shells, but look, there's a couple of spikes. So that's kind of exactly what we're looking for. Just been kind of hitting a little bit of the cart path on the way to the spot, but watching out for old iron, because that shows activity, that's what we want. So there is going to be some modern mixed in here, which is no problem, hopefully. <laughs> I'll bump into gold ring or something. Look at this cell phone right on top. Boom. Well, there's a big old chunky piece of iron. Okay, so that sure sounded good. That's a old piece of leather with a rivet in it. So this is kind of up on the cart path still. I'm still a little ways from where I'm gonna go in the water, but I'm just hoping I can bump into something. So this is just right on top. Big old piece of leather with some uh, rivets in it. I think we're onto something here. I think we're gonna get lucky today. Okay, we finally made it back to the sweet spot. And of course, why not start with another railroad button? So if you watched last week's episode, I don't know, I must have got like 15 of them. So, boom, there's another one. Button, second button. Well, the water at the first spot was a total bust. I didn't get a single sound out there, so. I guess these are some stinky guys. Never swimming. Man, the buttons just never stop here. I really thought I did a good job last time I was here, but I guess you always miss a few. I thought I'd show you this one. I've been getting lots of big old slugs and old shells. But that one's right on top. Now well, the mystery continues. So look how far I am from the bank. And this is the area where I found the old coins. You see the log in the water? There's one there, one there. And I'm kind of like up on rocks. Anyways, it seems like this is, look, see another log? A couple, two, three, four. I mean, they're just everywhere. And then there's like rocks stacked up. I think, because where is this gonna sound? Here I am out in the middle of the lake on what appears to be the old road or a old road of some kind. 
So, I don't know. I'm hoping to get something out here, but I'll tell you what, this is dead silent. Either way, it's kind of some neat history, which is the funnest part about metal detecting. You know, of course, we all want to find stuff, but sometimes just the story is the, the fun part. Yeah, look at all of these logs. I mean, it's just crazy. People had come put this much effort in it. And now it's just all underwater. Here's a couple of big ones. But anyways, I don't know if you can see that big boulder out there. It's probably too deep for me, but I'm gonna see if I can get out towards that. That looks where people would want to dive off of, so. And I just feel like people had to swim around all this work. I mean, how do you work this hard and never get wet? So hopefully we'll get something out here. So I haven't been showing you guys, but I'm just, I'm just in shells mania. And then look at that. I got some suspension right on the surface. That's been sitting there a long time. It's amazing how much is surface finds around here. They just don't go down in the rocks much. All right, see what else we can get. All right, well, I got some sort of relic here. What's this? Looks like part to a lamp. That's coming up at 10. <laughs> so I got a 20 right here. Do a live dig. It'd be funny if that was a zinc penny. But could be Indian head. <laughs> nope, fishing lure. Well, I finally got a coin. And look, <laughs> it's a newer nickel. See what year we got. 64, I think. So today's been not as good as I'd hoped. But you know what? It ain't over yet. I'm hitting some spots I've never hit before. And I got me a wheat penny here. I don't think I can get a date right now. Hold on, let me check and I'll get right back with you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But, let's keep going. Yeah, look at that. Getting closer to civilization. There's a quarter and a dime. Alright, guys. <laughs> that was a fun hunt, but uh, unfortunately I got all the best stuff last time. Uh, it's pretty lucky, I guess, to just bump into all the coins your first time. And I didn't work the whole thing because my gunner and I were too tired. We'd done miles and miles of shoreline. And so anyways, I left some. And then, of course, the water didn't turn out, which is weird. Like, you know, usually if the bank's got a lot of people on it, then the water's got a lot. Uh, but, you know, I must have dug 50 to 100 shells. Too many to count. Uh, so the activity was there. And of course we did get the suspender clip and a couple buttons and a lamp part. So, you know, yeah, it just doesn't always go the way you hope, but uh, I still like the the theory, uh, you know, the activity was there. The other thing is, it's just so weird having the, <laughs> the road out in the water. Of course it's a reservoir now, but it's about as low as it usually is. So I guess it used to be just a smidge lower. Um, but I didn't really find anything on that road, even out in the water, so. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of some more reservoirs where I think that this trick could work and, uh, you know, see if we can make this a running theory, because it did work. There just wasn't any more stuff there, so. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.